a new monster from the abyss, scientists stunned as unknown deep-sea predator emerges from Earth's darkest depths. From a place where no light dares to reach, and the weight of the ocean crushes like a vice, something has awakened. In the blackened trough the coast of Chile, nearly 8,000 meters beneath the surface, scientists have uncovered a creature so alien, so disturbingly adapted to the crushing void, it has been dubbed a monster from the abyss. This is Dulcibella Camanchaca, a newly discovered species of amphipod that stalks the hotel zone like a ghostly assassin. Pale as bone and swift as a blade, this four-centimeter predator is no scavenger. It hunts. With raptorial limbs evolved for sudden violent strikes, it ambushes prey in a realm where survival is a brutal, silent war. Its translucent exoskeleton glows faintly in the submersible lights, an eerie shimmer in the eternal dark. The discovery was made during a 2023 expedition into the Atacama Trench, one of the deepest and most mysterious scars on Earth's surface. Using baited landers, researchers retrieved four specimens from a depth of 7,902 meters, nearly five miles down. What they found was not just a new species, but a new genus, a predator that should not exist in a place long thought too barren, too cold, too dead for such ferocity. This changes everything, said Dr. Johanna Weston, lead marine biologist on the expedition. We expected scavengers, we found a killer. Named after the Kamanchaka, a ghostly fog that rolls over the Andes, this creature is a living enigma. It thrives in a world of perpetual night, where the pressure is over 800 times that of the surface. And yet it moves with purpose, with hunger. Its existence suggests a hidden food web, a secret ecosystem pulsing in the trench's black heart. What else waits down there, unseen? What other horrors have adapted to the abyss? The implications are staggering. As deep-sea mining and climate change threaten to disturb these fragile, unexplored realms, Dulcibella Kamanchaka is a chilling reminder. The deep is not empty. It is ancient, it is alive, and it is watching. This is not just a discovery, it is a warning. 